lived next door to him. One says that I am not good enough to eat at a lunch counter or to have a good, decent job or to go to school with him merely because of my race. He is saying consciously or unconsciously that I do not deserve to exist. In their presence that afternoon, I signed a message to the company. That message called for the enactment, and I quote, of the first effective federal law against discrimination in the sale and the rental of housing in the United States of America. And he's allowed me to go up to the mountain. And I've looked over and I've seen the promised land. And now, at long last, this afternoon, its day has come. I do not exaggerate when I say that the proudest moments of my presidency have been times such as this. When I have signed into law the promises of a century. We have come some of the way, not near all of it. There is much yet to do. Let's remember the past, when in the 1800s, discrimination plagued the society. People had to fight to be people and the fire of hatred was ignited. Living on streets, it was the American dream to own a home. To feel the freedom of safety and to be loved and protected, let's remember the progress. When hate was extinguished by love and skin color was unraveled to reveal the same beating hearts in there. Fair housing, was born. People were given the keys to access, regardless of race, religion, sex, disability, anything and nothing would stop us from unlocking our dreams. Let's remember today and how there will always be another struggle, how we must keep fighting for improvement. Let's look towards the future. And with Michigan Realtors' experiences, with their strength and their passion, continue this fight for fair housing. <laughs>